Yo, what's going on everybody out there? Mr. Same Man signing back in real quick. And you already know I had to touch on this whole ACA situation. Alright. Now. Oh, 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 oh. You embarrass your colleagues. Oh. You embarrass yourself. You embarrass everyone. You did this. You did that. Going back and forth. Really? How long did it take you to realize this, ACH, Jordan Miles? Oh, that's you said, yo, that's your slave name. Oh. How long did it take you to realize the fuckery that you did? Oh, because you, you hungry now, huh? You starving now. No indie shows. You humble now, huh? Fake. You was all for the culture, huh? Was you? <laughs> Yo, son. This dude is so fake. But once some pockets started getting dry, look what happened, brother. Look what happened. And it didn't even have to be like this. Because from the get-go, you had promise. You had a lot of promise. Triple H was backing you. Triple H! Bro, you win NXT. He guaranteed you was going to be good. You was his baby. I know you just, oh, that's, oh, he's not my father, the white guy. This is the business at the end of the day. There's no black dominant figure in the rest of the business. Let's get that out the way. It is what it is. Suck it up and deal with it. A white guy is going to be your boss eventually. So suck it up. You was getting pushed very well. Even though you had that stupid... He, I'm going to smile and grab my cheeks. And that was really iffy. Of, of course it was. People hit me up right now. My dude right there, OP, was goody. I'm getting this dude. I'm getting him. I'm getting ACH. Because this dude, only reason why he's doing this shit because his pockets is thin. He ain't got no bread. He hungry. Now he's running back. To old mass events. Oh. Please give me another shot. He's not saying that verbatim. But he might as well say it. It took you all this time. It took you all this time. To realize you fucked up. And I'm not saying that saying he, he was wrong. No he wasn't wrong. WWE is racist. Yes we all know that. Not only against black people, against everybody. And I keep telling people that. It's not only a black thing. It's a everything. Like, look at the Japanese people, the Chinese people, the Spanish people, Mexican, whatever. If you're not white, Vince looks at you as a caricature. And I've been saying that shit. But people don't listen. The fuck? ACH. Oh, I, oh, I feel so embarrassed. Now you feel embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if this is old. I know it can't be old. I know it can't because I keep up with the rest of the shit. I know this shit is recent. I know this shit is new. It's too late, my dude. And then the thing is, you kept going on with this shit. It's not like you just went on a rant, because they all go on rants. They all do, even though they will sit there and say, oh, I was hacked, whatever. They all go on rants. When they get frustrated, they get angry. But after that, they would like apologize or delete their tweet or whatever. You kept going and going and going and including other people like Cedric Alexander a motherfucking big swole. It's like you 
put a you poke a hole in the fucking boat intentionally. Like bam, I'm gonna poke a hole in the boat while these motherfuckers are still in the boat. You say yo fuck that. If I drown, y'all all drowning with me. How can people respect this dude? He's a clown. He's a clown. Yes, he is. The fuck out of here. And people are sitting that you can't defend anything that he did. And he keeps digging his own grave. The fuck out of here. This dude's a fucking clown, B. Fucking ACS. I, yo, please, yo. Seriously? He needs to get blackballed. I'm sorry. Keep this motherfucker far away. Far away. From the industry. I don't give a fuck. Oh, you flip around and you do high spots. You jump around. The fuck all that. You a dime a dozen, my dude. You a dime a dozen. If anything, you a detriment to when it comes to black black wrestlers in in the um, wrestling industry. The ones that actually respect the industry. They already know what comes with the industry, but they still want to live their childhood dream. If they had problems, they would t- take care of it behind the scenes. Even Triple H told you, your daddy, Triple H told you, yo, you can handle shit behind the scenes. You don't have to do, you know, you don't have to go, to, you know, all out on the social media and air stuff out like that. And what did you do? You kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it till you eventually got your release. You're a clown, my dude. And whoever, whoever sticks up with this dude and respects this dude is a clown too. Peace out, motherfuckers. Ban this bum.